What's good, YouTube? So I am here to do another food review for you all. And it is a cereal food review for a cereal called Silly Circles. I'm not bullshitting you, that's what it's called. It kind of makes you wonder if Google Plus found out about this cereal yet. <laughs> But um, before I get into eating some cereal, I could definitely use some nicotine. Like silly circle cereal, what is this nonsense you ask? Well, I'll show you here in a bit, but um, I gotta get some pipe tobacco in me first. Oh yeah, my pajama bottoms are pretty goth, check that out. Pajama bottoms with skulls and crossbones on them, yeah! This in here is Captain Black Cherry Pipe Tobacco. Mm. That's definitely a nice way to start your day. Smoking all that good tobacco. Of course there wasn't a whole lot in there because it was cash. It's more like it. You know, I didn't want to drop my fucking pipe tool. Like, seriously, come on now. Smells really good. So 
So smoke some pipe tobacco and then we'll get into that cereal review. If you're a non-smoker, you're more likely to appreciate the smell of a sweet-smelling pipe tobacco than you are a cigarette. Food for thought. Personally, personally, I enjoy the smell of tobacco, period. Like... serial review. the fucking table while we're at it. Alright. Let's 
kind of too lazy to wash a spoon, so fuck it, I'll use a fork, I don't care. This right here, as I said, silly circles. Right there, you can see it, silly circles. Got the mascot right there, that's what the back of it looks like. Um, basically, I think they're supposed to be mimicking um, Fruit Loops, but they can't call it Fruit Loops because it's already taken. So they called it Silly Circles instead. Um, kind of like, kind of. I wonder if Google Plus knows about this. I wonder if Google Plus knows about this cereal. I wonder if you can eat this cereal in the Antarctic, or in, the, or in other words, the Arctic Circle. <laughs> Get it? Uh. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you could eat this cereal in the Arctic Circle. It'd be kind of ironic, but silly circles. And um, when I opened the bag, I noticed that how some bags, when they have the reseal, the reseal on them, they go all the way across. This one, however, only goes to, from this these fingers to these fingers right here. And when I opened it, I accidentally put a hole in it. Right, right there. You see that? Yeah. When I um, when I accidentally opened it, yeah. Look at that. No, no. So if you're getting bag cereal, there is a couple advantages. You know, it's generally cheaper, and you're gonna get more cereal for your buck. However, if you're opening bag cereal, just be careful you don't tear it like that. Yeah. That's why when I store it in the cupboard, I store it like that so it stays fresh. See what I'm saying? Anyway, let's open her up. Have a, let's have a smell, shall we? Right off the bat, it smells just like Fruit Loops. Looks just like Fruit Loops. Again, silly circles. This is this cereal is made by the company. Uh, the company that makes this cereal is Signature Kitchens. Yep. So a shout out to Signature Kitchens for making this cereal. what it looks like. You can see it in the bowl here. Um, I don't know what's so silly about them, but it's cereal. Mm. And um, if you're going to have cereal, might as well have some, uh, some cow juice to go with it. See how they taste. Yep. They taste good. They have a nice light crunch to them, but I'm sure as soon as the milk takes full effect, they'll have a nice soggy chew to them. And uh, oh yeah, these taste just like Fruit Loops.
really sweet and has an artificial um, fruit flavoring. Alright, on my rating scale, I'd definitely give that cereal a 4 out of 5, and it's quite delicious. Um, if you like Fruit Loops, then you'll definitely like Silly Circles. Alright, I'll put everything up, I'll be right back. to wash it down we have Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Four, three, two, one, caffeine fix.
bombing for... Okay. Remove your comment. I give a shout out to Jack Mihoff. It was his birthday yesterday. And Olive Blackhawk and Sophia Cox, too. And a shout out to. Um, Mikey D. So Fonda's cousin, Ophella, shout out to you. Nope. People are like, once again, you need to lose the choker. No, no, okay, no. I'm not gonna change myself just to get some pussy. Fuck that. Remove. 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 No, my poltergeist is Winston. Remove. People ask the stupidest questions. Stop inhaling your pipe, you'll get trifo. Yeah, fuck you, I don't care. You're full of shit, no, you won't. Shout out to uh, Kenzie Iller or Eiler. <laughs> Someone used to send Lord Cobra a pocket pussy. Yeah, guess what? Your comment just got removed. Fucking smart asses. Shout out to insert. Name addicted to welfare and a shout out to Ace of Spades and his fiance Enza Danino. What's up to uh, Enza? How often do I wash my hair, man? Um, every day. It doesn't fucking matter. How about that? I give a shout out to Thomas McDonald or MacDonald, yeah. It was his birthday two days ago.
also want to give a shout out to David uh, n uh, the YouTube username the second half of it is spelled NBA 2K fan so David NBA 2K fan shout out to you as well you know I, I literally have to go through and remove stupid comments from my channel on an almost regular basis People, you know, are just idiots. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Someone asked the question, how often do you wash your hair? Um, every day. <laughs> and I think the longest I might go without washing my hair is like maybe two or three days. Just so the grease builds up, which is actually, I've heard a lot of things that letting that grease on your hair build up just a little bit and combing it through your hair before washing it. Um, some women will do this too. Some women, I've heard, of not washing their hair for a couple days. It's supposed to be really good for your scalp and shit, so, yeah. Ah. Well, that cereal, that bowl of cereal definitely hit the spot. Um, I usually don't eat breakfast, but if I have the opportunity to take it and eat it, then, you know, yeah. To take it in and eat it, eat it is what I'm getting at. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mountain Dew Pitch Black is where it's at. Smoke some white tobacco. Anyway, this is King Cobra JFS with another food review. Thank you all for watching. And, um... Catch you all later.